Matthias Baldwin really shaped both this city and the modern world. He uh, perfected the uh, mechanisms of steam locomotives right here in Philadelphia. My name is Joel Spivak. Since my childhood, I've been in love with the railroad and trolley cars. I wrote a couple books, Philadelphia Trolleys and Philadelphia Railroads. In the same way that the computer is now the thing that is the driving force of the world that we live in, railroads in the 19th century were the driving force. I'm George Thomas, and I am an architectural and cultural historian. I teach at the University of Pennsylvania and at Harvard University. Well, Matthias Baldwin was a jeweler originally, and he was very good at working with precise instruments, and that really helped him develop the engineering technology that he needed to build the world's largest uh, locomotive works. Baldwin Locomotive Works here in Philadelphia. He was a remarkable maker of things. And he's clearly holding uh, plans in one hand, drawings, and it looks like calipers over here. And these represent his great contribution to the making process. Matthias Baldwin was a founder of the Franklin Institute. That organization very quickly made Philadelphia the prime center in this country and maybe in the world for applied science and technology, the Silicon Valley of the 19th century industrial world. In 1860, every machine shop, every major enterprise in the country had its own formulas for everything. And that meant that if you bought a Philadelphia machine and you, you know, rolled it to Chicago and you wanted to fix it in Chicago, you couldn't because nobody in Chicago had the tools to make the screws that connected the pieces and nothing matched. The Franklin Institute, of which he is a board member, comes up with the idea of national standards for the basic connectors of machinery and anything else that uh, ought to be uh, interchangeable. Baldwin realized that if we didn't make everything interchangeable or operate from one state to another, it actually wouldn't work. Baldwin devised the system of absolute standards for all his parts. It's one of those just incredible careers in which he followed his nose in, in a way not unlike the way that the modern computer kids in California go with interest and a skill and land in a place in which anything's possible. And that's the world uh, that Philadelphia was for the industrial age. The little locomotive that drags the train around Disneyland. If you look carefully at the front, you'll see a Baldwin locomotive plaque on it. And of course, there are Baldwin locomotives in almost every you know, railroad museum and the like around the country. And they remain the great icons of the steam age and the industrial era that produced them. 